welcome to the Christadelphian daily readings for the 5th of January. The first of our readings will be from Genesis chapters 9 and 10. So God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be on every beast of the earth and every bird of the air, <clears throat> and all that move on the earth and all flesh, fish of the sea. They are given into your hand. Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. I have given you all things, even as the green herbs, but you shall not eat the flesh with its life, that is its blood. Surely for your life blood I will demand reckoning, for the hand of every beast I will require it from the hand of man. For the hand of every man's brother I will require the life of man. Whoever sheds man's blood, by man his blood shall be shed. For in the image of God he made man. As for you, be fruitful and multiply. Bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply in it. And God spoke to Noah and his sons with him, saying, as, And as for me, behold, I establish my covenant with you and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the cattle, and every beast of the earth with you, of all that go out of the ark, every beast of the earth. Thus I establish my covenant with you. Never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of the flood. Never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you, and every living creature that is in you, for perpetual generations. I set my rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. It shall be, when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant which is between me and you, and every living creature of all flesh. The water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. The rainbow shall be in the cloud, and I will look on it to remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. And God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. Now the sons of Noah who went out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham was the father of Canaan. These three were the sons of Noah, and from these the whole earth was populated. And Noah began to be a farmer, and he planted a vineyard, and he drank of the wine and was drunk, and became uncovered in his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. But Shem and Japheth took a garment, laid it on both their shoulders, and went back wood and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned away, and they did not see their father's nakedness. So Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his youngest son had done to him. Then he said, Curse be Canaan, the servant of servants. He shall be to his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem, and may Canaan be his servant. May God enlarge Japheth, and may he dwell in the tents of Shem. And may Canaan be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years. So all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. Now this is the genealogy of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And sons were born to them after the flood. The sons of Japheth were Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshach, and Tiras. The sons of Gomer were Ashkenaz, Ripha, and Tagama. The sons of Javan were Elishiah, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. Dodan From these, the coastland peoples of the Gentiles were separated into their lands, everyone according to his language, according to their families, into their nations. The sons of Ham were Cush, Mirzim, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush were Sheba, Havila, Sabta, Rama, and Sabekcha. And the sons of Rama were Sheba and Dedan. Cush begot Nimrod, and he began to be a mighty one on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore it is said, like Nimrod the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of this kingdom was Babel, Erech, Achad, and Kalmar in the land of Shinar. From that land he went to Assyria and built Nineveh, Riboth, Ur, Kala, and the reason between Nineveh and Kala, that is the principal city. Mizraim begot Ludim, Anaim, Leb Haibib, Nath Tumhum, Parasum, and Kaluim, from whom came the Philistines, and Kafor Kaftorim. Canaan begot Sidon his firstborn, and Heth, the Jebusite, the Amorite, the Girgashite, the Hivite, the Archite, and the Sinite, the Arvadite, and the Suramanite, and the Hamathite. Afterward, the families of the Canaanites were dispersed. And the border of the Canaanites were from Sidon as you go towards Gerar, as far as Gaza. 
Then as you go towards Sodden, Gomorra, Admar and Zeboim, as far as Laisha. These were the sons of Ham according to their families, according to their languages and their lands and in their nations. And children were born also to Shem, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth the elder. The sons of Shem were Elam, Ashur, Oxvad, Lud and Aram. The sons of Aram were Uz, Ol, Githa and Mash. Arphaxad begot Salah and Salah begot Eber. To Eber born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for in his days the earth was divided. And his brother's name was Jok Joktan. Joktan begot Alamodad, Shelef, Hazar, Armath, Jerar, Hadoram, Uzal, Dekla, Urbal, Abimael, Sheba, Ophir, Haveliah, and Jobab. And all these were the sons of Joktan. And their dwelling place was from Mesha as you go towards Sephar, the mountain of the east. These were the sons of Shem according to their families, according to their languages and their lands, according to their nations. These were the families of the sons of Noah, according to their generations and their nations. And from these, the nations were divided on the earth after the flood. Hello and welcome to the second of our readings for the 5th of January. Uh, we'll be reading Psalms chapters 11 to 13. A Psalm of David. In the Lord I put my trust. How can you say to my soul, flee as the bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow on the string, that they may shoot secretly at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids test the sons of men. The Lord tests the righteous, but the wicked and the one who loves violence his soul hates. Upon the wicked he will rain coals. Fire and brimstone and a burning wind shall be the portion of their cup. The Lord is righteous, he loves righteousness, his countenance beholds up the upright. To the chief musician, on an eight strings harp, the psalm of David. Help, Lord, for the godly man ceases, for the faithful disappear from among the sons of men. They speak idly, every one with his neighbour, with flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things, who have said, With our tongue we will prevail, our lips are our own. Who is the Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor and the sighing of the needy, now I will arise, says the Lord. I will set him in the safety for which he yearns. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. You shall keep them, O Lord. You shall preserve them for this generation forever. The wicked prowl on every side, when vileness is exalted among the sons of men. The chief musician, Psalm of David. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long will my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep with the sleep of death. Lest my enemy say, I have prevailed against him. Lest those who trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. The third of our readings for the 5th of January is from Matthew in chapter 7. Judge not that you be not judged, or with what judgment you judge, you will be judged, and with what measure you use it will be measured back to you. And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but do not consider the plank in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye, and look, a plank is in your own eye? Hypocrite, first remove the plank from your own eye, then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not grieve what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn and tear you into pieces. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for a bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them, for this is the Lord and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate, 
for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go into it. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits you will know them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, we have not prophesied it, we ha have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who builds his house on the rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who builds his house on the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. And so it was when Jesus had ended these sayings that the people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes.